Greetings viewers, Local Home Bridges here. In the previous part to this video, I discussed black lights and why they are useful for uh, glass collectors, uh, particularly with reference to the Aladdin lamps. Now I'm going to discuss uh, how if you collect alarm clocks or even watches, why a black light should be useful. And me just turn the black light on with the black light out of frame and you'll see why really quickly here. Okay. That's with the black light off. So the black light does a very excellent job at exciting the luminous paint that is used on uh, clock and watch dials and it seems to work equally well with either radium or non radium paint and uh, I'm sure there might be some exceptions to that um, you'll have to discover those on yourself but all the clocks that I tried and I've got alarm clocks dating from the time period of these clocks which is the 1920s and 30s to the 1990s um, and the black light works on the luminous paint on those all pretty well. And what's great about this is this allows you to um, look at the paint and it, it really highlights any damaged or missing spots in the paint a lot better. And as you can see this one here has got a few minor blemishes in its paint but overall it looks great. And uh, it also is very useful for photographing the clocks because it's very hard to get the camera adjusted right um, to make the uh, numerals uh, pop out and look good. And if you're very good with the timing of turning the lamp off and pressing the shutter button, you can get some good pictures. If you don't mind the, the purplish haze on the clock when taking a photo, you can um, you know set the black light just out of out of view like that and uh, let me dim some lights here. As you can see with the black light on you get some uh, rather ghostly um, purplish haze there which you can use that um, and you also get some annoying reflection of the bulb as you can see um, but like I said if if you're good at manipulating your camera whatever it is you're using for a camera I like using an actual um, a camera but if you um, if you take the picture fast enough you see the decay time there on the um, on the dials there's just a it's very fast after you turn the bulb off or if if you don't want to turn the bulb off you can quickly duck the bulb down but you've got just enough opportunity there that you can um, take a picture and you're gonna see the camera jiggle a little bit because I'm I'm doing this with this one I can um, take a freeze frame you could also do this um, with a video camera and um, do a screen capture of the frame right after the the black light is cut off. This is a very handy feature for taking photos of of clocks or assessing the condition of the luminous paint and it really really does create some very wonderful effects here I've added a couple clocks made in the 1990s these were both made around 1994-1995 and um, let me turn the black light back on and you can see that this clock which was made in the US um, is very very excited by the lumen by the black light just like the older clock was of course this is much newer loom and it's supposedly non radium and um, you can see it has a much slower decay time uh, this clock made around the same time manufactured in China I think uses a slightly different luminous material if I um, turn this on it's very difficult to um, 
get a good picture of this because in the camera the dial is reflecting back green yet in person it's reflecting back a uh, violet color so that is very deceptive it makes the entire dial look like it's illuminated and um, you saw there how the the UV the um, from the black light stimulated that and but it decayed off very fast So if you don't have a black light in your clock repair toolkit and you are an alarm clock collector or repair person, I really, really suggest getting one. I think I only paid like two or three dollars for this. It's whatever they sell for at Lowe's. And that's where I bought this at. And as you can see, all you need is some kind of a light socket or, or whatever is convenient for you to, to hold it. And um, you can use this to photograph the dials you can also use this to just to excite the loom and um, just to evaluate the condition of it and um, whether or not it's still functional so we have a clocks here from you know almost 70 years apart this one and this one and um, how great they look under the black light and like I said and you could freeze frame on the frame right after the black light goes out here um, because that's when you would be able to get a good photo and turn the lamp back down a bit And you can also see how much better condition this newer loom is, even though this is something like 25 years old now. Um, it'd be nice if you could still get this, though this will not glow all night long like that will. It's hard to think of a better way to close this video out than grouping some of my favorite luminous dialed uh, clocks together here and just um, turning the light off here and then just watching the the dials glow so I hope you enjoyed this look at a a neat trick for making your luminous dials light up so that they are uh, easier to photograph as you can see it certainly creates a very uh, pleasing effect and uh, a great way to display these clocks would obviously to have them um, on a shelf somewhere with a black light shining on them where you can um, see them all glowing at full power all night long and uh, it's a very easy way to uh, make one of these things glow all night um, at its maximum brilliance this is Oklahoma Bridges and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching